Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Atoria Squirrel, your squirrel in the middle. And today I wanted to let you know, and I've just received my Hat 5 rubber ducky. So as part of Ghost Strat's um, educational September, I've been doing the Hack 5 advanced ducky script course. I'm sort of probably about 10 or 15% of the way through at the minute and I thought it would be a good idea to get a rubber ducky as well um, to aid that educational process. So it's just literally landed yesterday. I've opened that bit but I've not even opened this yet. And there it is, the legendary USB rubber ducky. Looks like a flash drive, types like a keyboard. Let's get this baby open. I got this yesterday when I got back from work and I was dying to open it. So, when you get this in the box, it comes, or the bag, it comes with a very nicely done card. And down here, if you can see this, it's got a nice description of the USB C plug, SD card, status LED, the button, the toggle button, which either arms and activates it, a USB A plug. A couple of bits of right up there and some other products, the oh, statement conditions. But oh, there's the legendary rubber ducky artwork as well, which is brilliant. Some links to um, their website getting started, and then LED indications blinking green, payload executed in solid green, idle, and solid red card injection dot bin error. And injection injection dot bin is your main sort of file to start getting into ducky script. That's where you, your script lives within the, the ducky. So I was watching on the course as well, and if you do get a rubber ducky, it's essential to keep hold of this because they're not the most obvious. I don't know if you can see that in the light at all if I can get that. But along here are some teardrop looking stickers, and these teardrops go on the inside of the case and I'll show you that in a sec um, and they help in, in arming the device or disarming it and putting it from the payload delivery um, mode or into the sort of idle mass storage mode. So I'll put that there and show you that in a sec. And then here it is, the legend itself, the rubber ducky. Ah, oh, I literally can't tell you how long I've been waiting to get one of these. First impressions feels solid. It feels like a USB storage device. It feels like a very good quality USB storage device. To be fair, it probably feels like the best quality USB storage device I've ever put my hands on. Um, yeah, and you can see there, it's got a cap over the USB-C. Nice and snug fit, that's a nice tight fit. Cap over the USB-C, um, and then the USB-A is, is always visible. And it's got this nice metal clip that holds it all together. So yeah, that is fantastic. And then obviously as you see here, with your stickers, you can write on there some enticing words, try and get somebody to self-implicate themselves and plug that device in. Or if you want to be kind, you can just stick the Hack 5 and the, and the Rubber Ducky. I will definitely be sticking the Rubber Ducky onto mine because it's just cool in it. Like, look at that, like, that is amazing. So with this, to get started, first of all, you want to ping off this metal shroud, so, so that comes off, it's nice and tight as well, which is good, because it does feel like a very good quality and well-made device, this, they've not, not scrimped at all. And then I want to take off this case, because I'll put these stickers on. So I've got one of these tools, and I think if you get into tech and device and gadgets, these tools are great. I got this off Amazon, and it just saves breaking and knackering up your, your devices um, and, and breaking edges. So let's have a go trying to get into this. There you go. So let's flip that under there. Release the pin, and then just nicely just work that, that off. Cool. Nice, that feels nice and solid. Comes off well. Yep. There you go, there it is. There's the inner, the guts, the working. So there's your SD card, comes with an SD card already in it as well, which is cool. Um, and there's your arming button as well, if you can see that, if we're going to focus in, the arming button is there, 
So that's where we want to stick these teardrop stickers above, so it just helps in clicking an arm in that device where you can either engage it into payload mode or take it out and put it into mass storage mode. So what I will do is I'll work out which way this goes again. Good. And then I will work out where I'm going to put these stickers. So about there and about there. So not far off. On the inside of the case, you can see the injection mould kind of dimples. So let's get these stickers on. Darren was saying to put all four stickers on because it just helps get that compression and, and arm and disarm that device as easy as possible. And I'm just using like a teardrop shape, so I'm just using the teardrop to stick into the corner because there's like where you've got the round part which latches onto this, it's sort of, oh, don't lose it down there, it's like sort of concaved. So it just that teardrop shape helps just get into that corner to see what we know it's got this concaved or convex sorry ring around it that teardrop shape to help get to that corner. And then the last one. If I can get this off, don't mess it up on the last one. So, don't be an idiot like me and make sure that you put it on the right side. I've just had to, had to take this off the wrong side and put it in the correct way. So, yeah, don't be a numpty. Check it first. This then nicely sort of clips on. So when you want to arm your payload, I'll disarm it. That's, that's what you do. And that's swapping it from mass storage into armed payload delivery mode. And it's just a matter of putting this back together. Boom, there you go. Right, well that was just a quick unboxing and a quick setup video. What I'm going to do is, as I'm doing my um, advanced Ducky Script course, I'm going to keep updating videos. My next um, exercise is to start to write Ducky Script on the course, so I'll, uh, I'll start doing that and I'll start adding videos. But all in all, thank you very much. Please remember hit that like and, and subscribe button. It helps us squirrel out a lot. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you in the next video.